Hey, this is Chris at the Road Cred Shop. We're going to be laminating a 20 foot sign right now with a 64 inch Royal Sovereign laminator. Figured I'd show you the whole thing. We already did one. We're going to do another one right now. Um, got it already loaded here on the feeding reel. What we want to do is make sure that it's extremely straight on this reel though. See, look how crooked that was. That's really crooked. Like that. Just a little hair. And have to do this every time you just have to do this once for each lamination job and you don't really have to be this accurate except this thing's super long and I don't want it to track off even a little bit I want it to stay completely on the whole time I'm trying to take a little bit of extra time applying this super straight to the previous roll that ran through I mean it was like an eighth of an inch or so over the whole sign so that's what we're after. We're after that kind of thing. And I prefer to have the glue on this side because this is the side I work from. I'm going to start with glue over here, plus it's shorter distance to the edge, just a little bit, about half inch on this side. So we should be all set. I do a lot of extra things that maybe other folks don't do but I try to make sure everything's perfect. I got a towel here that I'm gonna wipe. It's just a static pre towel. And I'm gonna wipe across it as it's going. And that'll keep any lint from going into it and, you know, sandwiched fly or mosquito or a piece of lint, that all looks terrible. So it's not a super big ink usage for this particular sign but it is a really nice sign. You can tell how black the letter is in the text. And uh, that squeal is the blue. It's gonna pull it through though. It'll probably be all right. We'll probably start tracking that way anyway. But anyway, that's kind of how it goes. When I turn it this way, it seems to track this way. So the idea is to keep your roll like exactly perpendicular as it feeds off so that everything guides in straight. If it feeds in straight, it goes in straight. So anyway, and you can take this and you can slide it over to it watch what's happening with your print and watch this way it's going. Sorry about that extra noise. You can set up a slinger on the back to pick that up. I don't have that additional take up reel on this. Um, it's not something I use. Most of the time I'm laminating six to eight feet. You know, it's just like a batch of stickers. That's why I don't really need this. I don't do an awful lot of signage. You can tell by looking at it, it's in very, very good condition. The other small one I have, I got on the same time, they're like, that one's probably brand new condition. I mean, it's fantastic shape. So, uh, so you can take a look at that one too. That one's less money. Smaller though, it's only 25 inches. It's like half this size. So 
So right now we've crept about an eighth of an inch so far. So that's what I'm watching. We are going that direction though, so that's a positive because that means that the glue is slowly getting taken up. And that's because I'm turning from this, which like feeds more. I'm not exactly sure the physics of it, but if I was turning on the other side, it seems to go that way. But I'm right-handed, and I like having all the controls right here. And if I have to run around, I want the glue right there where I can just run right around to it. So I just keep setting it back straight. If it's wound up tight on this roll, you don't have to do that. But the way this sign printed in the middle of it is the media actually tracked off. There's about another sixteenth there, and I've got it set for another eighth. Um, but the media itself was like crooked. So it printed crooked on the printer. And uh, it's kind of weird. So I stopped it and cut it off and made it to two pieces. Otherwise we'd be feeding one off the roll. The other one already went through and I didn't think to take a video. So hopefully this video captures it all and you can see. This is running at the slowest setting. I never really go any faster. It's on zero heat. I've only used heat one time since I've had it. It does work. Um, but like I said, I only used it once and that was just to try to loosen up or to soften the material before I laminated it to try to prevent bubbles on some old media. I just heated it up and uh, somebody wanted this mat I had and it was an old cast mat so it was all I had left. So I put it in and turned on the heater and warmed it up as I laminated it and it made it softer so that there was no air bubbles. Like right now I'm running or guard or uh, or a cow laminating film. There's another eighth. We just hit the, another eighth. So we've gone off about a quarter inch on this sign total. That's not bad. I'm going to set it for another eighth. You can hear there's no squeal anymore because there's only, I don't know, a half inch of that stuff down there. It's not grabbing anymore. The material itself is keeping it off the, um, keeping it off the, uh, raising it up high enough and it's being taken up into a take-up reel as well. This does have a take-up reel so this will all be rolled up on a roll and I just take it out to my table and set it down and unroll it, cut this off, then we go mount it on a sign. So we're at the end now, this is it. I have a lot of extra material here. I didn't know I, this was the end. But this is what it takes to loop it into the machine and start sucking it in uh, to the feeder. So that's where you see that. That's all extra. We're not going to let it run through and waste the laminate. We're going to stop it right there. Let's make sure I don't cut the rollers. I got it. There's a cut strip like this is right here. So this is a cutting strip that we use to align the, uh, the next roller. You just make sure you're edge is attached and this is straight to the rollers. Give it a little bit of a blade, start it, and I'm staying ahead of the knife and pulling so that the material is held down flat and straight. We cut off extra stuff and you can use that to wet lamb or whatever, throw it away, hopefully not. I try to recycle everything. Um, so this is prepped this side for the next batch. We can use this. This is your feeder roll to feed the next batch. You can take the core off the roll end, off the take up reel, and put it on here, whatever you want to do. Um, so there's your feeding. This is just an extra piece of tape. And then on the back side, we've got another one of these cutting rails. We're going to cut off what we just laminated and just pick it up and tuck it back onto this roller. And then you lift the roller. And that's ready to go to the table. Two 20 foot signs, laminated. I don't know, we'll see how long it took right now to do one, and then you guys can guess. Oh, like nine minutes. So, and that's on slow mode. I only run in slow mode, I mean, it cranks. That's, it really goes fast. I don't know how fast it goes, but it goes fast. I'm sure the specs are online. Um, this is it, I'll give you a quick walk around real fast. All right, so. This is the laser area right here. There's a laser right there. So if you stick your finger in there, it just stops. And you can see the end of it there. There's the laser right down there, way down there. And then 
there's that cutting strip right right there right where you see my cut and then this is another one this is another one um, this is the take up that we just popped that roller off of uh, let's see here mind the rollers do not cut <laughs> This is another option to start and stop it. It's a mouse, so you can hold it away. There's also a foot pedal. We've got it right here. That's on and off. This one has on, off, and reverse. So we just got it looped here, and it's stuck with Velcro, so you can use it. I hardly ever use that. It's just sitting there. We also have the top for it. The top's right there. Makes it all nice and shiny and silvery. And I'll show you what that looks like. We keep the other laminator. There's the adjustment for the rollers, the, that blue tape. Here's the other one. Keep it on the carton and, and the uh, uh, hallway here. But same deal, heated rollers, but it's a 27 inch. It's got everything. Still has the original stuff on there. That one's a fully digital keypad, but like absolutely new condition. That's probably ran two complete rolls of laminate through it, total, since we got it. So here's the other one. This is the, the big boy. It's got the mounting. There's your mounting right there, all the way up to one inch. And then emergency button, of course. Dee, 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 dee. And you just turn it and it pops out. Here's another one. Ah! You just turn it and it pops out. Everything on this works. I mean, everything is like ideal situation for anybody who needs something like this. All right? There it is. Have a great day.